Justin Bradford, Penalty Box Radio, here with another College Hockey Quick Hit. Joining me now is Lucas Bond on the phone. Lucas, thanks so much for joining me. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, fun story here. Uh, from Hendersonville, you've gone all over the place to play hockey, uh, including British Columbia, and now you're coming all the way back to the south, and you're going to play D1 college hockey at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. So, how exciting is it for you to come to a place where you're only going to be a couple hours from home? Yeah, that was the, one of the most exciting things for me. I mean, I've kind of been traveling around for the last couple of years, and it's going to be really fun to be close to home so my parents and siblings and friends and stuff can come watch and because they haven't been able to see me too much over the last few years it's going to be fun and so you've spent time since uh well first of all let's go all the way back to 2014-15 where you played for the Hendersonville high school hockey team so just what was that experience like uh, getting to play high school hockey in the Nashville area yeah that was an awesome experience I've, I'm so glad I got to you know get the get the freshman year of high school and play for the hometown team and meet all those guys and a lot of those guys I still talk to and still look up to so uh, and I got to play with my brother as well which is really cool that year so it was an overall awesome experience. Yeah, and from then on, I mean, it set you up for a lot of success because you got to play in the USPHL and the NAHL and uh, the USHL and everything. So you got to play North American Juniors uh, in, in the U.S. What was that experience like uh, playing in the USHL for Sioux City and Des Moines? Yeah, the USHL is obviously, obviously a really good league. I mean, I was challenged every day, every skate. There's a lot of really good players that has a great reputation. So I'm glad I got to learn from some of those guys and, uh, kind of get my feet wet in junior hockey that year. And from then, you went on to the BCHL, the West Kelowna Warriors. I mean, pretty good season, 20 points and 58 games, especially for a defenseman like that. What was the, the big difference that you noticed between the USHL and the BCHL? Uh, the USHL is a little more defensive-minded. Guys are more worried about preventing goals, whereas in the BCHL, it's a really fast, up-paced league. Guys are not worry too much about defense. They're more kind of straight up and down scoring leagues. So the, the scores, if you look, are much higher in the PC just because it's a little bit more wide open. Um, that makes total sense. So looking at, at the scouting reports, uh, some of your, your your former coach and upcoming assistant coach said that you have an excellent hockey IQ, you're a solid two-way defenseman. How would you describe your style of play to people? Yeah, I think it'd be something similar to that. I think I have a good two-way style. I can uh, add some offensive flair, but I also am not a liability on defense. I mean, I take pride in my defensive game and hopefully it can help out in some, some special teams at some point. And yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. Let's let's ask some get-to-know-you questions. So, obviously, from Hendersonville, Tennessee, uh, who's your NHL team? Uh, the Preds, for sure, National Predators. So, uh, in, when you were growing up, when, when you were a kid, was there a defenseman or a hockey player that you really idolized? Um, when I was growing up, and, and still to this day, over the last few years, it's probably been Ryan Ellis, just because he's a smaller, lighter, kind of two-way offensive defenseman. He, he plays all, all situations, and he's just super reliable and can do pretty much everything out there. So he's a good good guy to look up to. So now I gotta ask as well: uh, Will you ever be able to match his beard game? Uh, not right now. <laughs> ask me in ten years, and maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in terms of getting into hockey, w- w- being in the Nashville area, being in Middle Tennessee, up in Hendersonville, obviously, you know, very well known for inline up in Sumner County and everything mm-hmm. too. But what really got you into the sport of hockey? What excited you to want to play the sport? Yeah, like you said, uh, they have the inline rink up at Hendersonville, and my dad and brother had started before me, so I kind of look up to them and followed followed in their footsteps and played roller hockey for my first few years and had some of the best times of my life out on the inline rink. And I eventually moved to ice, and just I just took off from there. So I attribute a lot of my success to the roller rink for sure. Excellent. So now into college. What are you looking forward to studying? I mean, I talked to just one of your other future teammates, and he's like, I always kind of wanted to be an engineer, and UH has a good program. And so they have a lot of different programs there at Alabama Huntsville. What are you looking forward to studying there? Uh, I'm actually studying business management, so <laughs> I'm really looking forward to learning about the, the business side of the world. And I know there's a lot of a lot of 
new people moving to Huntsville and a lot of new mm-hmm. small businesses and entrepreneurship is really growing down here, especially in Huntsville and the national area and like all the surrounding areas. So super excited to learn from people in, in the South about what it takes to run a business. That's awesome. And, and so before we have to let you go, uh, you're having an opportunity to play for the only D1 college hockey team in the South. What does it feel like knowing that you, that you kind of have that, I don't want to say pressure, but have that responsibility and that you're just being able to be a representative, not only as a player playing college hockey in the South, but also as a product of the South. You started your hockey career in the South, and now you get to play college hockey in the South. Yeah, it's an awesome feeling. I mean, being the south, one of the southernmost teams in the in the league, it's pretty cool. I mean, people don't realize how how many passionate hockey people are down here, and you can see with the Preds and and everywhere else in the South, it's just growing like wildfire. So I'm really excited to be a part of it, and hopefully be a role model for a lot of younger generation coming up. It's a great way to put it. Well, Lucas, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations, and looking forward to seeing you in action down in Huntsville. Sounds good. Thank you. I appreciate it.